I know you guys think this episode is sort of a reach and that I'm using Kevin Samuels name for clout. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Kevin Samuels is not here to speak for himself today. So I want to vindicate a prophecy that he had back in April 2022 that Fresh and Fit would be demonetized. Rewind demo! It's 2020 and Kevin Samuels by that time has already blown up. He's the truth on YouTube and Fresh and Fit are just a struggling YouTube channel. If you don't believe me, let's go to Social Blade when they started in 2020. September 2020, they have 2,700 subscribers. They have 1,650 subscribers, which means they have over 4,000. By the time November 2020 came, they have 2,010 subscribers. And then by the time Kevin Samuels comes, they have 5,200 subscribers, less than 15,000 subscribers. And if you wanna go look at their views for those respective months, there's 130,000, there's 165,000, there's 210,000, and there's 349,000 views. Kevin Samuels is already who he is during that period of time, and he's catapulting which is why they wanted him to come down to Miami. And the first ever episode that we saw with Kevin Samuels in Fresh and Fit aired December 12th, 2020. And the name of the episode was called Kevin Samuels Explains High Value, Cold Heart Truth. If you don't believe me, let's take a listen. Women, maybe even older women, mm -hmm. as to how to lock down a high value man. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting... 5,000 plus people watching you uh, asking these questions. What would be the one of the biggest takeaway tips you could give to women in the current dating marketplace to lock down a high value guy? Mm. Stop. Stop. Because only 10% of you are going to get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I, I look, one of the biggest 20% uh, of you can qualify for it. Maybe 10% of you will land it. And that's really what my show is based on. You can, I, I don't begrudge you wanting what you want, but are you an eight, nine, and 10? Well, actually, an adjustable six, eight, or nine in the looks. And are you an eight, nine, or 10 in the body? If not, move along. Move along. Um, <laughs> this is South Beach. So at that particular point, Fresh and Fit were begging Kevin Samuels to come back on. And he thought these were some young guys, so he kept doing it. And I want you to also look at this particular clip called Kevin Samuels Goes One-on-One -on -one with Career Woman Amanda. And this episode here got 3.3 million views. Let's play an excerpt of that. Janina. Okay, one of the things I kept hearing, my name is Kevin Samuels, by the way, nice to meet you. One of the things I kept hearing is the notion of fairness, fairness, fairness. Why is that so important to you, Amanda? I hate to admit it, but I do like I'm half a man. I'm just a pretty girl. And I don't think that I should have to accept less in life because I was born with different equipment. I think that's bullshit. Well, if you're half a man, then you should understand this full concept. that men don't care about fair. I don't have to care about fair either. You no, no, no. Men don't care about fair or else we wouldn't conquer other people. Now, by the time Kevin Samuels came on from December to March, Kevin Samuels helped Fresh and Fit accumulate in that month, 32,400 subscribers. The next month, 69,000 subscribers. The next month after that, 94,000 subscribers. What am I trying to say here? Kevin Samuels gave birth to Fresh and Fit. Without Kevin Samuels, they could have reached that success, but it would have taken them a long time. Let's look at some of the numbers before then. In January, they had 460,000 views. In February, 421,000 views. In March, 2.4 million views. The month Kevin came, after that, 6.8 million views. And then in May, 15.75 million views, with many more collaborations, at least on StreamYard or Zoom, with Kevin Samuels. But how did they repay Kevin? They tried to compete with Kevin for his own audience by doing what? Let's let Donovan Sharp tell it all. It, the way the way things started, and I don't think anybody, I don't know, you guys may have heard other versions of this. 
But I'm going to tell you the 100% truth because I am very, very good friends with the both of them, right? Kevin and Myron are two of my very best friends. Kevin was one of my very best friends. And so <clears throat> Kevin had just, Kevin had blown up. He'd gone viral on World Star Hip Hop a couple times. And of course he was two, 300,000 subscribers. He was on his way up. Then uh, Fresh and Fit also hit the, also hit the algorithm and they started to grow. Well, Fresh and Fit had been doing Fresh and Fit After Hours at the same time Kevin was doing his show. Neither, Kevin never had a problem with it until Kevin felt that uh, Myron and Fresh's live streams were infringing on his audience. He said to me, Donovan, that is my time slot. He said this to me. He said, that is my time slot. I said, Kevin, I said, you're one of my best friends. You don't own any time slots, okay? People can live stream whenever they want to live stream, number one. Number two, number two, Myron and Fresh have been doing Fresh and Fit after hours probably longer than you've done your late night show. So it, it, it just, it, it became, now listen, I don't know what Kevin's motivations were. I'm not going to pretend to know because he didn't tell me. You see, Donovan Sharp's argument is that Fresh and Fit had an after hour show before Kevin Samuels. And that I really can't prove because I can't go back that far for the information and looking through playlists. But the reality is that they had no audience. You understand? So the beef between Kevin and Fresh and Fit partly did revolve around the fact that Fresh and Fit were trying to impede on his audience when they had no audience, but because of Kevin. But that was one thing. That wasn't the main thing that Kevin was concerned with. What Kevin was concerned with was the fact that Fresh and Fit went behind his back, especially Myron, and called the man a homosexual because they had this beef. Now, I'm gonna play a clip where Myron absolutely is gonna admit that there is a problem. There was a problem between him and Kevin Samuels. Yeah, and and, and seeing that stuff, because I mean, guys, it's no secret, like, you know, me, me and Kevin had some disagreements in the past and everything else like that, but, I'm never going to say anything negative about that man's legacy and seeing all these like crazy ass like chicks that are mad, you know, that felt some type of way trying to tarnish his name and everything like that. I was like, fuck these dumb ass bitches, you know, like, are, are you fucking serious? Like if any, if the roles were reversed and one of them passed away, none of us would make a hit piece making fun of them. You know what I'm Thanks. saying? Like we wouldn't. And I know Kevin wouldn't either. So this was something I found out right during the I've been preach beef with Fresh and Fit in 2022. So there was definitely an issue here. But the biggest issue was that fresh and fit behind Kevin Samuels back had called not only him a homosexual, but had made disparaging remarks against Abba and Preach, which is why the reason Abba and Preach went after fresh and fit. But what does that have to do with what we're talking about? Well, you see, fresh and fit had a live stream just like Kevin. And one of the things that Kevin said that he was afraid of about live streams was that somebody could come up on the screen, his screen or anybody else's screen, get naked, and then the channel will be demonetized, something like that. And that actually happened to the Lapeef Network sometime before, uh, after he passed. So that's something that we know can happen on YouTube. But what did Kevin Samuel say? He said, listen, O'Shea, Fresh and Fit don't have to lose their YouTube channel. All they got to do is demonetize them. That's all that needs to happen. And I kind of listened to what Kevin was talking about because some of the things that Kevin predicted didn't come true, but this was right on the money. And we know that because of this begging from Fresh and Fit here. Yeah, yeah. And and my thing is guys, um, more than ever, <laughs> real talk, more than ever, I know a lot of you guys send me messages and I trust me, I look at them. I really do look at them. And as a matter of fact, I save them too because I sent some of them to Fresh today. Yeah. When you guys send me your DMs and say, yo, you saved my life. Yo, you sent me a picture of your credit score. Yo, my girl is making sandwiches now or whatever it is, right? Um, that really means a lot to us, right? We've helped a lot of you guys um, from killing yourselves, from injuring yourself, from making a really bad decision or doing something that, that you can't um, necessarily take back. What I'm asking you guys is, just like we've saved you guys, we need you guys to save us. We need you guys to support us on Rumble because that's the last bastion of free speech at this point. Yeah. 
rumble.com slash fresh fit guys like you need to go on there right now follow the channel subscribe it's five bucks a month because if you guys want us to keep making this content that that's what it's going to be and i and we've worked really hard to like try to like keep it free keep it free as clear, long as possible man on youtube like accessible. you guys know this like yeah we don't sit here and pitch courses to y'all every month we're not always you know trying to take money from y'all when you guys super chat it's just uh um it's you guys showing support to the show. It engages the show. And we, like, for real, if we've impacted your life and we've saved it, we need you guys to save us now. You see, the reason why I'm giving all these receipts today, I want to vindicate a brother that's not here to vindicate himself. He predicted this. And see, Kevin was a much higher class actor than me. He would never come on and he would never make a statement like no one would have ever knew that Kevin and Fresh and Fit had problems if Fresh and Fit or Donovan didn't really talk about it. I only talked about it after he passed, but he did say that all YouTube has to do was demonetize them and that was it. And that was because of their harsh stance. Now, if you want to say that Kevin Samuels had a harsh stance on women, listen to what these guys did with Fresh and Fit. And the reality is, is all of that anti-black talk and all the stuff talk about women and all this kind of stuff thinking that they wouldn't get caught i'm gonna tell you something me and kevin samuels were offered during the auburn preach beef by another large youtuber to squash it and mentor fresh and fit i said kevin story time music i said kevin listen bro you hear what this other brother is saying we're all close friends and the other brother was cool with me and kevin all right i won't call his name he said listen these guys need some mentoring all right, O'Shea, you know, you win the game, Kevin in the game, I'm in the game. We can all help these guys. These guys are on the way. And Kevin said, after those guys have called me these names behind my back, he's like, it's a lot of things I can forgive. I just can't forgive that. So I was even willing to take my videos down I had made about Fresh and Fit at the time in order to help them out of respect for if Kevin said he wanted to do it. He declined having any further relationship with Fresh and Fit, which is why today I still go after, uh, to certain parts, Fresh and Fit. That's the exact truth. Kevin predicted the downfall of Fresh and Fit based on what you heard Donovan saying, based on the social blade stats, Kevin was upset that he helped make Fresh and Fit and that they went behind his back and called him names. That was the real issue not necessarily a time slot all right kevin was getting many opportunities he was on instagram doing very well and of course yeah you don't want somebody to have your same slot so donovan does have a little bit of a point there to the fact that there was some issue about that time slot that is definitely true but the fact was of what they said about his sexuality behind his back like cowards and he did say in april 2022 all youtube got to do is demonetize them you don't even need to take their channel down and look where we're at today. Wow, give Kevin Samuels a round of applause. Rest in peace, King, we're out.